in this fin cast the similarities between this energy bar and this fish food coming up. Oh, I see better color, I see more activity, my fish breed. I have a full line pet store. I have fish tanks where I have epistogrammas breeding. I have fry. I have lots of fun stuff going on. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast and today I want to talk about a new fish food product from uh, the folks at Extreme Aquatic Foods and as you know they are a sponsor of FinCasters and have been for quite some time now so I want to be right up front with that. But they're very innovative and they do have a new food, in fact this is what it looks like in its unpackaged form but if, if you can see it, it's a very small pellet, a 0.5 millimeter pellet. But here's the thing, it's very similar to this protein bar for this is this happens to be from Cliff uh, people who make Cliff bars you see it says 20 grams of protein right there on the on the packaging and that's important when you talk about it for human use and I'm a bit of a workout guy I ride my bike a lot I mountain bike and I road bike and I ride in the summer months over a hundred miles a week which I have a lot of friends who ride twice three times that so it's not like I'm bragging because in the group of people I hang out with I'm kind of like a you know a dude on a tricycle <laughs> but but and then in the, in the winter months I'll work out at the YMCA um, but one of the things you hear from all the fitness gurus and sort of reasonably well accepted in the fitness community right now is that after you work out what you want is you want to get as many grams of protein as you can in your system as quickly as you can because that's what your muscles need to rebuild because the thinking goes that your muscles are made out of protein so if you eat a lot of protein then that's what your muscles need to rebuild themselves and everyone wants to have big strong muscles and so you eat a lot of protein especially right after you work out so how does that translate into fish food well uh, if you've been around the game reasonably long you probably understand that uh, you know you, the higher the protein the more uh, the faster your fish are going to grow and so uh, this is 52 percent protein all right and that is super high I mean we, I, there are fish foods out there that are you know less than 10 percent and this is 52 percent protein and it's made in this very small pellet because it's designed specifically for smaller fish and for baby fish for fry and the idea of course is you're growing those fry and you want to get them as big as you can sometimes because you want them to breed sometimes if you uh, uh, want them to grow up because you want to sell them you know whatever your motivation is but most people want to see their fish grow and they want to see them be healthy maybe they don't want them eaten by other fish and so you want to feed, feed them a high protein diet so this is a new option and one of the things that's pretty cool about it you'll hear Rick talk about it a little bit in the interview that's coming up in just a moment is, is the fish poop less and they poop less because the theory is the body is using more of the actual product therefore there's less waste and so therefore there's you know less waste right so anyway here is Rick Biro the uh, one of the two owners of extreme aquatic foods talking a little bit about this we'll also see him feed this to some of the fish in one of the aquariums at the show where I interviewed him and you will see that the the fish are really going crazy for this stuff it's a nano food and what it is it's a real high protein diet uh, the main ingredients are krill uh, shrimp um, squid and it's a 52 percent protein we put it out for juvenile fish it's real high in omegas, it's all natural, and what it's gonna do is you're gonna feed your fish, uh, young fish at the beginning this food. Also, we found out while we were here at the show that this is very good for live corals, they seem to eat it, and you could also use it for your tetras and all your other smaller fish. And I'm gonna throw a little bit in this tank. One of the things I want you to see is, these are a tank of uh, small Julie's technique. It's, it's the way they're gonna clobber this food. They're just a little scared of me, but watch how the other fish in the, in the this is a closed system. If you look at the fish next door, they're already smelling this, they're attracting in the fish food, and they're gonna start going crazy here on it. Now, it's got some really great probiotics in it. Um, the effluent from the fish is re really reduced. Um, it also, uh, if you, it's got some calcium in it made from pure skeletons. So it's just a great new product we worked and been working on. The hardest part was getting it to sink at this small size. So we, we finally figured that out, so it's a, it's a great new product for us. The, the, the suggestion is that fry need it, would need it for a while, maybe uh, the first zero to four weeks, or if they're still accepting it, that it's something you could use. I could, at my farm, I'm gonna use it up to an inch and a half fish. 
but you don't want to feed this long term to adult fish because it could burn them out as, as far as the protein it's, it's, it's a higher level it'd be like us eating steak every day and nothing else so it's something you could actually throw in a little bit with them if you had some breeders i noticed that if you take it and kind of squeeze it in the water it makes a little pellet so a bigger fish might eat this thing down now, if this is your first time watching Fincasters, you may not have seen uh, some of my other interviews with Rick, but Rick was one of the pioneers in terms of bringing African cichlids to the United States back in the late 70s when nobody else was doing it. He and his brother went over to Africa a number of times on buying trips to see if they could basically become the very first Americans or among the first Americans to start finding sources of African cichlids to bring into the United States and now they have a farm down in Florida where they raise uh, cichlids and then sell them to stores and wholesalers around the United States and, and so these guys uh, practice what they preach they they develop all of their foods feeding it to the uh, to the fish that they raise down in Florida and they raise them by the thousands tens of thousands dare I say hundreds of thousands uh, so they really do know what they're talking about and, and uh, Rick is really an interesting character and Rick is a true pioneer in the cichlid trade in the United States so um, thank you to Rick for uh, his support of Fincasters thanks for sharing his information of course I'm sure he'd be tickled to death if you would want to uh, try to buy some of this and feed it to your smaller fish your tetras uh, your uh, your fry uh, and some of your smaller African Americans he mentioned the uh, Julies the Jolitochromis uh, the Lalupis and some of the other smaller I'm sure shell dweller fish as well so a great opportunity for fish with smaller mouths swimming around in our aquariums if you want to get some protein into them. Thanks for watching. Please click around. In addition to the Cichlid Adventures with Rick Biro, which uh, uh, is one of the uh, options out there on the Fincasters channel, I've done a lot of things on planted aquaria over time, uh, also uh, on marine aquariums, keeping of corals and so forth and so on. So I'm sure that you will find something that you like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate it if you would do so. And uh, please leave some comments down below on what you think of the Fincast, what you think of the channel. If you've tried this food or if you're looking for this food, I'll try and answer your questions, but I will put a link uh, to Rick's website in the description with this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Fincast.